If you're a server owner or a map maker, then there are several reasons you might want to ban players from crafting certain items. Maybe you just run a big server and you want to prevent people from getting TNT. Well, no matter what your reasoning is, here's a tutorial on how to completely disable any vanilla crafting recipe that you like. If I go ahead and open this crafting table, you can see that I can in fact craft TNT. The item appears over here and if I click it, I can just put it in my inventory. However, I have loaded a data pack into the game and as soon as I reload, I will actually no longer be able to craft TNT. There's nothing over here, I can't pick anything up, and everything just stays in the crafting grid. If I go to the recipe book and try to search for TNT, well, TNT minecart comes up, but the actual recipe doesn't. As it turns out, you can do this with only a single file in a data pack. To do this, you need to go into your data pack under the data folder, and then under the Minecraft folder. Not whatever namespace you're using for the data pack, it has to be in the Minecraft folder. If I go into the recipes folder, I have one file that's named TNT. And this is the entirety of the TNT file. All I'm doing is defining a crafting recipe with air as the main ingredient and a barrier as the output. You've probably noticed that this isn't specific to TNT. If I want to ban any crafting recipe, this file is enough to do that. The recipe that you're banning comes entirely down to what you've named the file. As a quick tutorial, I'm just going to walk through banning a different recipe, and this time I'm going to be doing it on a stone cutting recipe just to demonstrate that this method works for any type of crafting recipe, not just stuff that you do in a crafting table. So right now, as you can see, I can use stone to craft stone slabs. Labs, but what if I just don't want to allow anyone to do that? If I go back into this recipes folder and just copy and paste the exact same file, I don't need to actually make any changes to the file itself. As I said before, the name of the file is everything. So naturally, the next step is figuring out what to name the file. I can actually use the recipe command to search for whatever recipe I want to ban. In this case, it happens to be stone slab from stone stone cutting, which is a really long name, but it's very important. What you're going to do from here is highlight the name of the recipe without the Minecraft part, just the name. Do control C to copy it and then paste it into the name of the file. And that should be it. If I just go back into the game and reload, as you can see, I'm no longer able to craft any stone slabs. Before I move on, I'd just like to explain the contents of this file and what they do. I'm technically allowed to select whichever type of crafting I want, it's just that shapeless crafting is the simplest and the easiest to program. To guarantee that there's no way that I'm able to actually use this recipe, I put air as the main ingredient. And I would have done the same for the result, but as it turns out, you can actually go in and find this recipe in your recipe book, and if air is the result and you click on it, it crashes your game. I decided to put an actual item in there, and the barrier is really handy because it gives you that circle with a line through it icon, basically telling people that this recipe has been banned. Okay, so that's all well and good. If your goal was simply to prevent players from using those recipes, then you're done. However, there is one potential issue, and that is that despite not being able to use the recipes, you can still unlock them in the recipe book. Remember how earlier I demonstrated that I can't search for TNT? It turns out that if I search for barrier, it actually does come up with two recipes, one of them for TNT and one of them for the stone slabs. Now obviously I can't do anything with this, if I click on it, it just goes away and it doesn't impact gameplay in any way. However, if you're really nitpicky and you want to prevent these from showing up in the recipe book at all, there is one other thing you can do. How recipes work is that they're unlocked through hidden advancements. And if you disable those advancements in the same way that you disabled the crafting recipe, then nobody will ever be able to get those advancements, and they can't unlock those recipes without either using commands or coming into a world where they already had those recipes unlocked. Disabling advancements is very similar to disabling recipes. As with the TNT, I've already done the first one. So again, under the Minecraft namespace, I go into Advancements, Recipes, Redstone, and here I have one called TNT. The file itself is even easier to write than the recipe. It's right here. If you want to copy it, go ahead. And again, naming is everything. This one is named TNT. It's under the Redstone folder, and that is under the Recipes folder within the Advancements folder. The placement is very, very important here. So say I wanted to do the same thing for the Stone Slabs. As before, I can search up the Advancement that I want to disable, but this time I'm using the Advancement command rather than the Recipe command. Now when it comes to getting the name for the file, it's not quite as straightforward as it was with Recipes. Here you really want to pay attention to these slashes. Every word that comes before a slash is actually going to be a folder underneath the Advancement folder. So think in your mind, you're starting with advancements, under that folder is going to be a folder called recipes, and under that is a folder called building blocks, 
And then finally you have the name of the file. So now remembering that order, I go back into the advancements folder, add a recipes folder, which I already have because I disabled TNT earlier, but if this isn't there, then you need to add it. Go into that one, add a folder called building blocks. And finally under here, I can just paste the file from the other folder. And now all I need to do is rename it. And there we go. If I go ahead and reload this data pack, it will be impossible for new players to unlock this recipe in the recipe book, just like it is for TNT. Now you will note that I still have these unlocked in my recipe book, and that's only because I had them unlocked beforehand. If I go ahead and revoke all my recipes, then there's no way I'll ever be able to unlock these again without using commands first. And again, that's because I disabled the advancements. If you don't disable the advancements, then you will be able to unlock these the same way you would normally unlock the original recipes. Anyway, I think that's just about going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment. I always appreciate that, and hopefully I will see you all later.